Hello, I'm Colonel Frederick J. Bosner, and I generally know what I'm talking about. You may recognize me from my television series I had in the late 60s. It was based on my book, Bosner's Brigade. It didn't fare too well in the ratings. They put us on opposite Bonanza in the Hollywood Palace. Yeah, they didn't do you any favors there, Dad. Well, I got a bad break. That's my boy, Frank Jr. He's going to be a West Point man one of these days, right, Frank? Well, you know, Dad, lately I've been thinking about maybe going to USC. They got a real good football team, and I guess the film school is pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess I could go to West Point. Yeah, he's a good boy. He needs a little convincing from time to time. Ow. The reason I wanted to talk to you folks tonight, it's come to my attention in recent weeks that fuel prices are on the rise again. They're going up. There for a while, we could fill up the RV, head up to the Dells for the weekend, only spend maybe two bills on it. Hey, a real good time up there, too. It's a nice show. We got a damn good water program up there. Tommy Bartlett runs it. Lately, however, you fill up the RV and go up to the Dells with the whole family, gonna drop maybe three, three and a half on it. Well, you know, you got the money, Dad. Why not just spend it? Yeah, that's not the point, Frank. The point is we can't let these towel heads from Buddha Land get us over the oil barrel again. So I suggest that all of us do something about it. Reach down, pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and out of the feces. Ooh. That's why we here in the Bosner household have started to take the lead. Started to experiment with alternative sources of energy. I discovered quite accidentally last week while I was in the garage that earwax is flammable. Yeah, you know, Dad, your ears are still kind of black around the edges. Kent, doesn't that come off? Or <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sorry, sir. I've advised every member of the Bosner family to deposit their extra earwax in a 50-gallon drum that I keep in the corner of the garage. We siphon off the residue straight into our Plymouth Volari wagon. So far, we've been averaging a good 18 to 20 miles per gallon. Yeah, but you had to get a new uh, carburetor and the, uh, the gas... Do I have to do it again? Suck. No, I'm sorry, sir. All right. So I would hope that all we as Americans will follow the lead of the Bosner household and start experimenting with alternative sources of energy. Start experimenting with our own bodily fluids. Hopefully, by the turn of the century, we'll have this energy problem licked using our own bodies as the source. That's all for tonight. At ease. Thank you, Dad. Hi, Frank.